today. Today for class we have a little bit more equipment than you're used to seeing here. You're going to need a mat, a set of weights, a medicine ball, and a stability ball. So if you're doing this from home and you do not have maybe a stability ball or a medicine ball, you just have weights and a mat, that's totally fine. You can still do this workout. Um, I just wanted to change things up a bit and add some more things in case that you do have any of these pieces of equipment at home. So I will try to give you um, modifications before we even get started with class so you know what um, things you can do to replace what I have planned. So before we even do a warm up, I'm just gonna tell you what we are doing today. That way you can see if you're able to do this workout without any of the pieces, if you're missing any. So what we are gonna do is a squat with a tricep extension. So all you're going to need is a set of weights for that. We also are going to do a halo hip drive, which you're probably gonna want a mat just so you have some more padding for your knees. And then you also are just only going to need weights for that. Um, we're going to be doing chest press, so again, just a set of weights. So, so far, everyone that's doing workouts from home should already have a mat and weight, so you should be good. Then what we are going to do is a Superman ball pass, which you're going to need a medicine ball and a mat. If you do not have a medicine ball, most weights are kind of rounded on the sides anyway, so you can always just do use your weights instead of a medicine ball. We also will be doing... Um, a ball slam with a push-up so you are probably going to need a medicine ball for that if you are at home and you have like a tennis ball or you have a different kind of ball that you can slam maybe even a pillow just something that you can throw on the ground that can replace your medicine ball we'll also be doing a ball fly which we'll be using the stability ball for and medicine ball if you don't have a stability ball that's fine you can do it on the ground and if you don't have the medicine ball that's also okay you can use a weight. Then we'll also be doing an overhead ball hold with lunge, which well, you're going to be using the stability ball. If you do not have a stability ball, you can use weights, that's fine as well. And then we'll be doing elbow circles on the stability ball, which if you do not have a stability ball, you can be just doing a plank on the mat. So just to show you, that's the exercises that we're going to be doing. Um, if you don't have a medicine ball or stability ball, as I have already pointed out, you can clearly still do this workout. So. We're going to go ahead, and now that I've talked enough, we'll get started here with a warm-up quick. So let me just get my watch going. All right, so right away, we'll just start with some side steps with arm swings. And like always, if you need to crank up any music, please go ahead and do so. If you can move faster than me, go ahead and do so. I'm feeling pretty slow and tired these days. <laughs> so my pace might not be as quick as you're used to seeing. Perfect, but either way, we just want to use this time to get the blood pump in, warm up our bodies. Got to make sure you're crossing one arm over the other here, nice and easy, tapping to the side. Good. In five, we're going to go into a high knee with an overhead raise. Here's five, four, three, two, last one each way. Perfect, now we're gonna raise our opposite arm, opposite leg here. Again, you, oof, sorry, I have the hiccups and burps really bad today too. So I apologize if I randomly stop talking in the middle of a sentence. So here you do not need to be very fast. This is more about just balancing and um, mind coordination here, or mind control, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm having mom brain as well. Like I said, off day today. Anywho. Again, we're just working on those joints, range of motion things. If you want to do this a bit quicker, maybe adding more of a hop, so it's more like cardio, you're more than welcome to do so, but don't feel like you have to. Perfect. Let's do five more on each side. Here's one, two, three, four. Go to the last one, drive it nice and high. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and step out and pull back. Step out and pull back. Come to the center here. Good. So just a little bit of a side squat. Chest is staying up. Really squeezing those shoulder blades as we come back. Good. Again, you do not need to be very quick with these movements here. 
great job. Gotta really keep that chest up nice and high. Sit deep into that squat. We have five more each way here. Here's one. Two. Good job, stick with me here. Three. Four. Last one each way. Pulling back. Perfect, go ahead and come here. We're gonna just stay here and opening up our hip flexors here. So take a nice big step forward with your right. Sinking in to a little bit of a lunge. And this is gonna open up our left hip flexor here. Let's go ahead and just take some deep breaths, raising those hands up. And exhale, stay in this position with your legs the whole time. Good. One more here. Awesome, let's go ahead and switch. So now, stepping forward with our left leg, right leg stays back. Keeping our hips underneath us so we open up that hip. Raising our hands up and pulling down. Good. Keep that chest up nice and high. Don't lean forward here. Opening up those shoulders, good. One more time. Perfect. All right, so body should be pretty warmed up by now. My heart rate is already very high already. So we're gonna dive into the workout. So like I said, for class, you need a mat, weight, medicine ball, and stability ball. If you do not have a stability ball or medicine ball, you can pretty much do this entire workout just with weights and a mat. Just like to add a little razzle dazzle here and there. So what we have, are we are going to do our eight exercises two times through. The first time we're going to do 50 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest. And the second time after we have a little bit of a break, we're going to do 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. So, pardon me, I have to drink some water here. So, we're gonna start standing here with our weights. So how this is going to look is a squat with a tricep extension. You can do this one of two ways where you can have them in both hands and as you squat, you extend out and come up and come to hips or you can do overhead where as you squat, you raise and come up. It is gonna be more of a challenge for your balance and for your core if you go overhead, but whatever you prefer, go ahead and do. So we're gonna start this here Starting with a squat with tricep extensions for 50 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. So, legs are as wide as our mat. We're gonna squat. As we squat, quick kick out, stand, bring our weights back to our hips. Good. So as you do this, make sure you're keeping a nice high chest. Really sink that butt low into your squat. Extend those weights all the way back. Good. Take your time here, 50 seconds. We're going through. We're over halfway. Good, nice and low. You'll notice I'm dropping my hips, keeping my knees behind my toes. We have less than 10 seconds here. Good, give me three, two, one. Coming up, good. Go ahead and right away, we're gonna go down to the ground on our knees sitting up nice and high for our halos. So we're gonna do halos around our head while sitting back and coming forward. So how this is going to look, again, you can go ahead and start this here with me. We're gonna to come to our toes and then squeeze our glutes forward. Down to our toes, squeeze those glutes all the way simultaneously, moving that weight around our head. Okay, give me a few more seconds here. Switch directions of your weight. Still going ahead and doing these little hip drives here. Good, great job everybody. Almost there. Really push those hips forward. Keep moving those shoulders, keep your chest nice and high. Squeeze your glutes. Give me three, two, one. 
Perfect. Keeping those weights here. Now we're going to go to a chest press. So we're going to move on to our backs. And just a normal chest press here. Here we go. Extending up and then coming all the way out and down. So our elbows are hitting the floor. So again, we need to set up nice and high. Squeeze. Coming down to the floor. Just a basic chest press here. Really think of squeezing your pectoral muscles, so your chest muscles together up at the top. Kind of targeting that armpit area there. And keep your elbows nice and wide as you come down. Perfect, here we go. 15 seconds remaining, just keeping it here with this chest press. Awesome job, everybody. Almost there. Checking the time. We have five, four, three, two, one. Take a rest. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and put the weights to the side for Superman ball pass. So those of you that can lay on your gut, you're going to lay on your belly and push the ball out in front of you. So pretend I'm on my gut. We're going to push the ball out and bring it back in. I cannot lay on my belly, so I'm just going to sit here and push the ball out and bringing it back in. All right, so like I said, I have to do things a little bit differently here, but again, the Superman portion is just like our normal Superman, we're laying on our bellies, but instead of raising our arms up, you're gonna push the ball out and then bring it back in. So pretty much what I'm doing but you're going to be on your belly instead of sitting up like me. Good. Here we go. We have less than 10 seconds. We're going to go into a ball slam push up and rest. So this ball slam push up, if you do not have a ball, that's totally fine. All you're going to do is come to your knees, throw the ball down. Before you pick the ball up, you have a push up. So here we go. We throw our ball or whatever pillow you may have, you come down into a push-up and just keep repeating. So you can't pick the ball up until you've completed your push-up here in case you didn't get that. <laughs> Good, here we go. Keep pushing here. Again, if you're doing this push-up, you can be from your toes or your knees. Try to keep your back flat. I know it's kind of hard when you see me have my butt up in the air, but <laughs> We all modify, that's what I've learned. We do what we can, but it's definitely gonna be easier on your shoulders if you keep your back in line. Here we go, we have five, four, three, two, one, perfect. If you have a stability ball, I want you to go ahead and place your um, upper back on the ball, otherwise you're just going to lay on your mat. And with our medicine ball or weights, we're going to do a ball fly. So if you are doing this with a medicine ball, you're just going to pass the ball from side to side. If you have weights, you're gonna have one weight in each hand and you're gonna bring both weights down and up simultaneously. Again, if you have a stability ball, you're positioned like me with your upper back on the ball. If you don't, you're just lying on your mat and doing this. So although we added more equipment than usual for this class, you can still do this with just the mat and weights, which is super nice. For those of you that are at home that don't want to or just haven't gotten around to investing in more equipment yet. Perfect job. Here we go. Remember to breathe. We have less than 10 seconds here already. We have five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. We're going to set that ball down and we're going to pick up the stability ball. If you don't have a stability ball or a medicine ball, you can use weights. And we're just going to do an overhead lunge with a kick. So balls above our head. We're going to lunge forward with our left and then kick. Right leg's gonna stay still this whole time. Perfect. So again, we're just gonna hold that ball up above our head. Even if you don't have a ball or you maybe you have a medicine ball, medicine balls above your head. No ball, just weights. You can hold a weight above your head. And this is just gonna help stabilize our core, working our lower body. Whew. Remember, we're lunging and then coming up and doing a kick. Great. If forward lunging is too much on your knees, you can always do a back lunge here as well. Great job. We have five, four, three, two, one. 
and rest. Now our last exercise here, if you have a stability ball, you are going to do arm circles, which is just basically a plank while rolling the ball. If you don't have a stability ball, you can just hold a plank here. And as you can see, you can modify this by going from your knees and doing the rollout. You can modify your plank by going from your knees, whichever you need to do. Whew. Great job, you guys. Keep it going here, you're over halfway. Try to keep that back flat no matter what you're doing though. Whether you're doing the ball rollouts here with me or you're doing a plank. Great job, here we go, come on, stick with me here. Less than 10 seconds, then we have a nice long break here. Then we're gonna go through this one more time. Good, go ahead and take a rest. So that is the end of our first round. So like I said, class is gonna be pretty quick here since we only have eight exercises. So go ahead, grab some water, take a drink. Hopefully now you can see like what modifications you need to do based on your equipment needs. You got a run, runaway ball there. All right, so like I said, go ahead and take a minute here to stretch out, grab some water, catch your breath. If you don't need a rest, a, bre a rest, oh my gosh. You can go ahead and do some cardio here, jumping jacks, fast legs, whichever you choose. But I myself need a little bit of a break, so. <laughs> All right. So, like I mentioned, this second round, we're gonna do 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. I know before it was kind of quick transitions of the 10 seconds. But like I said, hopefully now you know, plus you kind of get a little bit more time. But I feel like this class is pretty easy to flow through. It's not like you're getting up and down, so should be all right. So we are going to start here again, standing up. So if you are still seated like I am, let's go ahead and make our way back up to a standing position. Make sure I get all my stuff out of my way. <laughs> and we're again, we're going to need our weights for our first couple exercises here. We're going to again be starting with that squat with the tricep extension. So remember with our squats, legs are as wide as your mat. All right, toes are pointed outward and we're sinking our hips rather than bending our back. All right, so starting with a squat with tricep extension here in three, two, one, here we go. So we're going into our squat. As we're low, our arms come back out, coming up, going to our hips. Keep those shoulder blades pinched and really push those weights back, feel those triceps here. Good, great job. Again, with weight stuff, it's okay if we take things a little slow. Work on that form here, keep your chest up. You'll notice my back is nice and straight. I'm not rounding it or I'm dropping my hips. Great job, we have less than 10 seconds here and then we're gonna go down to the ground for those halo hip drives. Give me three, two, one, perfect. 15 seconds coming down to the ground. Again, balancing out those knees. So if you need a pillow or need a towel, fold the mat, whatever you need to do, go ahead and do so. Grabbing that weight. And here we go, we have our halos. And we're going to simultaneously come down and squeeze our glutes to come up. Perfect. Nice job here. Again, if this is bothersome for your knees, please go ahead and just like crisscross applesauce or maybe grab a towel or a blanket. Good, go ahead and switch direction with those halos here. Continuing with those hip drives though. Work that core, squeeze your glutes. Nice job, everybody. Keep it going, 10 more seconds here. We got this. Give me three, two, one, and rest. Go ahead and grab that other weight if you put one down. We're lying on our back for just our basic chest press here. All right, here we go. Flat back, we're going to extend, here we go, extend up, squeeze those chest muscles all the way down 90 degrees. Squeeze them up at the top, 
Nice and wide on the way down. Go slow and controlled here. Perfect. Breathe out as you push up. Inhale as you come down. Remember to keep a nice flat back, especially the small of your back. It's easy to round your spine here. Keep it nice and flat. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Here we go. Come on, stick with it here. We're almost done. I believe we have less than 10 seconds here. Gotta really feel those chest muscles working. You guys got this. Great job. And rest. So, we are done with our weights. You can go ahead and put those to the side. We have that Superman ball cast. Where again, if you're able to lay on your belly, you're going to be in that Superman position, pushing the ball out in front and bringing it back in. Myself, I'm just going to stay seated and work on pushing that ball out in front and bringing it back in. This also for pregnancy is going to help with my spine strengthening, keeping that flexibility, just like the Superman is going to help with yours. Good. So when you're in that Superman, roll that ball out and then wheel it back in just as I'm doing here. Perfect job. I know it's hard when the instructor doesn't do the move you do, but thanks for sticking with me. You guys are doing a great job. I just know you are. All my good listeners at home. Perfect. Nice job. We have less than 10. Okay, stick with it. Keep those Supermans. Keep those shoulders and chest lifted here for three, two, one, rest. So staying on the mat here. We are going to go into that push-up ball slam. So if you don't have the medicine ball, the pillow, or just pretending you're slamming will work just fine here. Here we go. So we do our ball slam. Before we can pick the ball up, we have to go into a push-up and then back. So ball slam, go into a push-up here. Good job. Here we go. Almost there. Again, try to keep your backs flat with your push-ups. I know mine might, might not be. We all work with what we got going on. But I can tell you what, it's a lot easier on your elbows and your shoulders and your wrists if you keep them all in line and don't dip your back. Good job. Here we go. Let's try to get one more in. Give me four, three, two, one, rest. So now we are going to take that stability ball and our medicine ball. Again, if you're not on the stability ball, you're just flat on the mat. This is our ball fly, so like our chest flies here. So upper back's on the mat. Here we go. If you're doing this with the medicine ball, we're going side to side, passing. One hand stays in the air the whole time. All right, engaging that core, engaging our glutes. If you do not have a stability ball, you are on the mat doing this. And if you don't have a stability ball or a medicine ball, you're just doing regular chest flies with both weights on the mat. Perfect. So again, this here is gonna really work. Those pectorals, just like in our chest press. Keep the other hand nice and tall if you're only doing it with one hand. Great job, here we go, 10 more seconds. Almost there, you guys, stick with it. Whew. Give me three, two, one and rest perfect go ahead and set that medicine ball down we're going to take our stability ball for our overhead ball hold with lunge kick now keeping our left leg still right leg is lunging so here we go right leg comes forward we come back then we go into a forward kick so alternating between these two movements here again if the forward lunge is too much you can always do a back lunge whichever you prefer Good. Really take a nice big step. Big step here. Keep the knee behind the toes. Push through those glutes. Don't forget that forward kick. Keep that ball nice and high. If it's starting to hurt your shoulders being above your head, you can always hold it at chest level. Here we go. We have less than 10. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Dropping that ball down to the mat. We have our elbow circles here. So again, if you don't have a stability ball, you're just going to hold a basic plank. Whew. All right, guys. Here we go. Last 45 seconds here. Elbow circles if you have a stability ball from the knees or toes, whichever you need. 
Again, if you do not have a stability ball, you're doing a basic plank at home. Perfect. Nice job, you guys. We're about halfway through. Stick with it. Keep those back straight, core is tight. Good. Coming up on the 10 second mark. Almost there. Keep those balls moving. Here we go. Come on. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. All right, go ahead and grab a quick drink of water. Like I said, I'm definitely in need of water these days. Perfect. And since we're already down here on the ground, we will just stay down here for stretching today. So take another second to grab some water. Otherwise, you can go ahead and sit on your bums. All right, let's go ahead and place one leg out in front for a nice little stretch here. Get your toes up nice and high. Take a big deep breath in and exhale. Reach for those toes. Perfect. So stretching out the hamstrings here with those halo hip drives we did. Your hamstrings were working a little as we were going up and down. So you gotta give them a good little stretch here. Beautiful. Let's hold it here for another three seconds. Give me three, two, one. Nice and easy. Come back up. Bring your left leg in or whatever leg you did first. We're gonna swing the opposite one out. Taking a big deep breath and exhaling, reaching for those toes. Again, try to keep your toes as pointed up to the sky as possible, just to really get a nice deep stretch to that posterior chain. Good. And use this time, remember, be sure to be taking nice, full, deep breaths. Feel that heart rate slowly drop. And we'll stay here for another three seconds, going three, two, one, nice and easy. Let's bring both legs forward, straight out in front here now. Again, both toys, toys, oh my gosh, both sets of feet, toes, both feet, oh my gosh, point it towards the ceiling. Take a big deep breath in. And on our exhale, lean forward as far as you can. I used to be able to touch my toes, but this big belly got in the way. <laughs> Good, so go as far as you can. Again, with stretching, like I always say, please do not force yourself into any position that may be uncomfortable. And we're gonna hold this here. Feel the nice deep stretch through the back of the knees and through those hamstrings. If you need to take a little bit off your stretch, just bring your hands back towards your hips. We're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, beautiful, nice and easy. Bring yourself back to sitting up straight. Let's go ahead and bring our feet into a butterfly position. So a diamond in front. Um, if you're not very flexible, you don't have to have your feet touch and you can kind of just leave it, I don't know, it kind of looks like an upside down house, like it's straight and then it angles in. So based on your own flexibility here, we're just gonna go ahead, try to get those feet together. We're gonna open up and stretch to that groin and inner thigh. So sitting up nice and tall. If you're already feeling a stretch here, keep it here. If you're looking for something deeper, take a big deep breath in with me. And on your exhale, just slightly hinge at your hips slightly forward. And you should really feel that pushing down on your outer hips. If you want, again, to add more, you can kind of use your hands to push your knees towards the mat. But as usual, we are just trying to stretch, not break our bodies here. So Listen to it. If you're comfortable and feeling a nice deep stretch just by sitting upright, keep it there. Good. Holding it here. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. We're going to go ahead and take it to our backs here quick. So we're going to go ahead and just do a cross body stretch for our legs. So take that right leg nice and long. Take the left leg and bring it up over top. Your lower back can be lifted off the mat, but we want to try to keep our shoulders nice and flat. And this here is just going to help stretch out the outer hip and lower back. Good. Take some nice full deep breaths. Really just relax your body. 
Let's hold it here for another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly bring yourself back to a neutral spine. We're going to shift legs, so left leg goes nice and long. Oops, five stability ball. Right leg is going to come up over top, and as you can see, my lower, my glute is completely off the floor. My lower back is lifted, but both of my shoulders remain flat on the mat. Just go ahead and let your leg go. Feel a nice deep stretch here. Remember to take those full deep breaths. Great, hold it here. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Bring yourself back to a neutral spine. We're gonna take that right leg and bend it going into a figure four pose. So right leg is gonna stay bent. We're gonna take our left leg and bring it up over top. So our left bottom of our foot is pointed towards the right side of our mat. And we're just going to let that sit there. So this again is gonna help stretch out the glute and outer hip. If you need to feel like a deeper stretch, like if this isn't doing it here, you can bring your left or your right foot closer to your glute. You can also push on your left knee out towards the bottom of your mat. Or you can take both hands and wrap them under your left, right knee and bring it towards your body. But again, just listen to what's going on in yourself. And we'll hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy, slowly release, switching to the other side. Left leg stays bent, right leg is gonna come up over top so the right bottom of our foot is pointed to the left side of our mat. And again, just same here, this is our figure four pose. So it looks kind of like an upside down four here. Again, deeper stretch. You can move that left foot in closer to your glutes. You can take your right hand and push on your knee to open it up more. Or again, you can take both hands and wrap them under your left leg and bring it towards your chest, whichever you're able to do. And again, if just here is enough of a stretch for you, go ahead and relax here. We'll give it another five seconds. Going five, four, three, two, one, nice and easy. Go ahead and roll up, come to seated position. Do a quick stretch for our upper body here. So go ahead and sit or whatever way is comfortable. Let's go ahead and bring one arm across. Kind of like what we did in our warm up, but now we're just gonna isolate one side at a time. So right arm is across here. You can do your left arm if you want. We'll do both of them. And we're just using our opposite hand to hold it near and dear to our bodies, feeling a nice stretch through those shoulders. And let's go here, give me five, four, three, two, one. Nice and easy, release, switching to the other side. Opposite arm comes across, holding nice and tight. Beautiful. We're gonna keep this position here for a few more seconds. Going five, four, Three, two, one, nice and easy. Go ahead and do some shoulder circles, taking them up and back. Go ahead and now let's go ahead and bring them back and forward. Good, and remember by this time, we want our breath to be back to a pretty steady state. Heart rate should be returning to normal by now. Good. Nice and easy, we're just gonna go ahead and raise our hands up above our head. Lean, lean, slowly bring them down. Good, do this a couple more times. Slowly bring them up above our head. A Little bit of a lean. Good, let's do this two more times here. Slowly raising, leaning. Last one, coming up. Perfect. Go ahead and do again, just some quick shoulder circles. We'll do some quick swing crosses as well. Beautiful, go ahead and rest your hands on your lap or by the side. Doing some neck circles here to finish off our day. We're doing some extra stretching more than we normally do. Go ahead, go ahead and switch directions. A neutral position 
And to wrap up our day, we'll do our three deep breaths, breathing in and release. Fill those lungs. And release. Last one here. Alrighty guys, that is your Strength Express class for the week with me at least. Hope you enjoyed it and that I will see you next Wednesday. Have a good one.